In this video, we're going to look at a really curious and interesting integral, which is that of e to the x squared. So we've got e to the power of a power, and this integration is going to be quite challenging. It's not immediately obvious how to do it, because there is no u substitution that's going to work. Integration by parts also isn't going to work, and you're going to run into a very fundamental problem which is that this problem simply cannot be done with elementary functions. You can't express it simply in terms of some trig functions, some exponentials. There is simply no basic integration that's going to give a nice answer. So what you're actually going to have to do is you're going to express it in terms of an infinite series. And that's the best way to do it. And so we can use a Maclaurin series. And we can remember the famous Maclaurin series of e to the x, or in this case, we're going to do e to the u. So you just look up a Maclaurin series for e to the u, and we can express e to the u as that infinite series. And this is, of course, a simple repeating pattern. We've got n factorial on the bottom, and we have u to the power n, you know, power of 0, power of 1, squared, cubed, power of 4. And so we have our expression here. We can say that u equals x squared. That's why I've done u here. And so we can re reason quite simply that the Maclaurin series of e to the x squared is simply going to be this expression here. And if you're not sure how I got to this, you can simply substitute x squared here, and that's going to be x to the 2n. Or if you wanted, you could write that out in full. So just replace u with x squared, and you'll see that this series here can be written that way. So actually, all we have to do is integrate this. And we just use our simple rules of integration. So this x to the 2n, we add 1 to it, and we divide by it. And so you can get a simple answer in terms of elementary functions, but you can integrate it and get an infinite series. So the best expression for the integral of e to the x squared is going to be this infinite series here. So hopefully you found that interesting, and you can now integrate e to the x squared. Finally, thank you very much for watching.